Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. Today I'm going to be doing a sewing video. This is my first video ever doing any sewing on this channel, and if you've been watching me for a while, you might have heard me talk about sewing before, and the fact that I went to dressmaking school, I also learned how to do alterations, and now I alter a lot of my own clothes, mend a lot of my own clothes, and I've made a few pieces in the past, as well as mending dog beds on a regular basis. But I haven't done any creative sewing projects in a long time, much less shared any sewing on this channel. But of course, all that's going to change because this is going to be my first sewing video here, and I've got quite an interesting project. I'm going to be trying to make a piece of clothing. Well, let's call it what it is. It's not clothing. It's pretty much underwear or shapewear to try and conceal my hip dips. Really quickly on the subject of hip dips, it's not such a serious thing for me. I guess I have it as a little bit of an insecurity some of the time. I don't notice it all the time. I still wear pencil skirts and tight pants every now and then, but sometimes it's something that I notice. And of course, I haven't done anything about it until now. It hasn't affected me that much. Actually, at the gym, I am doing a few workouts to try and fill the gap, so to speak, but it's never bothered me that much, and I've never really thought to do anything about it until now. And that's only because this dress that I'm wearing, I've worn before, I think, in the try-on for my fashion overhaul, and also a few times in Japan, I've worn it without issue, but for some reason, I was just thinking, it'd be nice if I could fill out that hip dip section a little bit, since I want to wear this dress to a party tomorrow night. And that's why I'm here. I don't know how long I've rambled just then, but let's get on to making these pants because I want to try and make them before tomorrow when I actually need to wear them. So I do have a bit of a time crunch ahead of me here. I thought I'd wear the dress because I thought it would help explain what I'm doing, but I've got my hip here and kind of my leg bone here and thigh, and it's just not tapered like I'd like to be. I wish it was a little bit more kind of like that, you know, filled out a little bit. Hopefully that makes sense. Nothing major, just kind of giving it a bit of curve. If you're tuning in to try and see how I try and conceal my hip dips, I'm going to get on with the video. This is, like I said, very spur of the moment, so I didn't really have much in the way of supplies or shopping or preparation, really. Obviously, I have my sewing machine here. This is a Brother sewing machine that I picked up a few years ago. I don't know what my model is. XL2230. Anyway, I picked it up for $200, if that, from Spotlight maybe eight years ago and it's still going strong it's fine for what minor sewing projects i do these days and i'm just going to be using it to try and speed things up in terms of sewing of course i feel like with the minimal sewing required at least in my mind at this stage you could probably get by with just um, a needle and thread which i do have here as well for maybe tacking uh, the clothes into the actually i'm just going to get into the actual components so everything makes a bit more sense <laughs> Now these, um, this is what I'm going to be using for my hip padding. I guess it does make me wonder, uh, drag queens, how they make their sort of butts and hips. Maybe I should have watched a video on that to get some sense on what I'm doing. But in some ways, I kind of like the fact that I'm figuring it out on my own. So these I'm going to be using as my hips or hip dips, filling them out. This is exactly what it looks like. Just an old glue on bra or like one of those sticky bras that has since lost its stick and um, I think the little clasp is broken so these are useless to me and I'm basically thinking maybe I can try and fold them in half and maybe that'll sit well of course I've got to get rid of the clips but that shape seemed to work well in my mind I was actually thinking I'd either use these or um, I have a whole bunch of things in my room uh, in my sewing drawer. This here is just an old shoulder pad. You could use those or I know somewhere in my room, I don't really know where, but somewhere in my room I have old padding that I've taken out of other bras or I think out of an old swimsuit, but I couldn't find any of that and I only have one of these shoulder pads, so I can't do anything with that. This is what I'm going to be using instead, but point of what I'm trying to say is the fact that you could obviously use a few different things. I mean, maybe you could even use rolled up material or socks or something quite simple. But I think this will be quite good because it's a bit spongy. It's not like um, like just a silicone sort of stick on bra. This has a bit of a foam on the outside. And what I'll be putting those on is just a simple pair of shapewear shorts. I got these from Kmart today because I couldn't find any of my other shapewear. You might be seeing a trend. I think I need to organize my room again. But these shorts are just meant for the purposes of shaping everything. I think sucking in the waist and kind of making a seamless line under pants or skirts. So that will work well here. Um, obviously, they're just shorts. Maybe you could use um, bike shorts and attach them or like 
boy leg shorts or maybe even a shapewear skirt whatever you have on hand if you're trying to do the same thing I feel like you could do a fair bit or use a fair few items so this is just what I'm using along with these and then of course I've got the rest of my sewing equipment I've got um I think before I segued into talking about those materials I've got needle and thread I've got some chalk and scissors and that's pretty much all I'm going to be using so I think what I'm going to do just so I can know where to place these little pads I'm going to be calling them is trying these shorts and just see how everything's sitting so I know what to do from here all right I'm wearing the shorts now obviously they do smooth everything out as they're meant to I feel like I can't really see much of a difference compared to before I tried them on just because this dress is pretty thick but if you'll be able to see um, my hip is up here and then my kind of widest part here is where my thigh is and the top of that leg bone femur is that it even though it's smooth with this I just wish there was a little bit more so the basic idea is I'm going to be putting these here and probably putting on the inside of course just so everything's smooth so now that I'm kind of set up I think the first thing I need to do is just get rid of these little clips so there's no little strange bulges apart from the bulges that we're trying to put there on purpose it works in this case just because it is a bit sticky I'm sticking the top section there and I've just kind of got this semicircle thing now what I'm going to do is I think try this on inside the pants and just see how it goes covering everything up all right I've got the hip pads on I know it might look a little bit awkward now but I feel like that rounds everything out quite well I'll make sure I put some proper side-by-sides so you can get a better idea of how the before versus the after looks what I'm gonna do now is just really quickly show you how I've placed this because obviously even though this one is in a full semicircle, it's a bit of an odd shape. So there are a few different ways I could have done it. Let's just pretend this is my hip. I was thinking maybe I should do it with a flat part on top. So on the side there, obviously, but the, just the flat part on top. Otherwise I tried it also upside down. That was the good thing. Um, trying it on underneath the shorts, I could really get a sense of what looked best. Trying it upside down didn't work either, but in the end I've decided on flat part at the front and it just curves around at the back so I think that works really well with the shape and um, I think what I might do is start stitching oh no that one nearly got me alright we're pinned just about to jump in now with a needle and thread and I'm going to stitch it just gently on there and then I'll try it on again before actually going with the machine. Okay, now that I've done one half here, just stitched, it's messy, yes, but um, it's holding and it's also done in such a way, I realize I'm not explaining on how to do this if you haven't sewn before, but it was all pulled taut with the pins, but now I've taken them out and there's enough room for it to stretch still. And I think what I'm going to do is just the exact same thing on the other side, and then I'll probably try it on again before zipping over with the machine. Okay, so I'm wearing these now, I feel like it's, definitely filled out my hip dip if you can see the bottom of it does stick out a tiny bit at this stage but I have a feeling with adjusting it would be less noticeable if I could find the right placement because obviously it is on elastic or this elasticated shorts I feel like it is easy to move and place where I would want it to sit also I do think that once it's fully sewn on around the edges with my machine then it will look a lot better so this is Definitely not as bad as I thought it would be to start out. I'm pretty happy. Let's see. And 
I don't need to think that it's bulgy here. This is just my hip. Um, but yeah, I feel like it blends in reasonably well. Also, I do want to point out that with these lights in front of me here, every single shadow and little sort of mark is quite noticeable on anything. So having these might seem a little bit lumpy at the moment, a little bit. But I do think in real life, it's a lot less noticeable if you can pick up anything at the moment. And not to mention the fact that once it is sewn around the edge, I think it will have much more a smooth surface since it will really be stuck to the shorts and kind of bulging out a little bit less, if that makes any sense. So on that note, Let's get sewing. I've got the machine all set up already and I think I'm just gonna dive right into it. Also really quickly, I've got mine set on a long stitch here. Um, of course you could use actual elastic thread. I'm just using regular cotton. Also, even that was already pulled taut with the stitches from before, I am making sure to pull the shorts as I go sewing, just so we don't get anything bunched up and it's all nice and evenly spaced. So. Onto the other side. Also, if anyone hasn't done any sewing before, um, just make note of the fact that I am sewing these so I can see them on the inside. Otherwise, it could obviously get quite messy. I think it's done. So this was the first side that I did. Once it stretches, I mean obviously you can see stitches, but it should be flat and pressed up. And the other side I feel like I did a little bit neater, if only from getting to know it a little bit and practice on the first one. I sewed closer to the actual edge of the pad, but I'm very hopeful. So I guess I'm just gonna try it on now. Okay, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Um, I don't know why I chose here to sit and try and show. I'll make sure I include before and afters as well, just so you can get a better idea of how everything looks without the bookcase behind me here. You'll be able to see everything a lot better. I guess that's gonna conclude the video. I just wanted to thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed it. Whether you're here to see a bit of sewing or just a random video of mine, maybe that's the case. Or perhaps you're stumbling onto this video if you do want to cover up hip dips. Again, like I said before, I don't think there's anything wrong with hip dips. I don't think they look bad for me. I just wanted to round out my hips a little bit. And like I said, I'm trying to do that in the gym. I know some women will get BBLs to do that permanently. Or maybe you could try making these shorts as a way to kind of enhance your hips a little bit fill in a hip dip for a certain outfit or occasion, maybe you'll like this idea. But I think I'm gonna be wrapping up this video here. I'll definitely be wearing this dress and shorts tomorrow night when I go out. I'll make sure I update if there are any sort of wardrobe malfunctions, although fingers crossed that there's no updates here. If you don't hear anything from me at this point in the video regarding that, then you know that I was all good. Anyway, like I said, I will be wrapping it up here. So I just wanted to thank you once again for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, definitely let me know in the comments down below if you do want to see more sewing videos. I know I keep saying I'm not the best seamstress, but I like it and I've got a few other ideas up my sleeve. So if you've got any, you know, want to see more of this in the future, let me know. But I will be leaving it here. So I just wanted to thank you once again for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.